Whenever I'm asked to think about love, I realize, oh no, it's not my turf. When you love someone, you treat the person like king. But hold on a second, who created everything? Your perfect date, he's a marvel. And you forget that the third person is the devil. You think you found someone you're attracted to. And immediately, he means the world to you. So is this what true love really is? To be in close proximity without any boundaries? I miss you. I miss you too. Even more than the one who created you? Or will I be thinking about you at every ungodly hour, even at two? So whom should I give my love to? You, you, or to you? When things don't go the way you want, you separate from him whom you used to think is the one. What then is left of you, modesty you used to vouch? What then have you reserved for your true zouch? This temporal world is just a fleeting pleasure, and often we struggle in our ibadah only thinking of leisure. Good deeds and being righteous might be difficult to measure, but for our hero, this is all a treasure. So ignore the whispers that define your existence as only for show. You are worth so much more that you must know. You strive to seek his pleasure in every action, consciously shining seen, because you know you are now visibly an ambassador of your deen. So sisters, have courage and take the first step. Don't the hijab even when people tell you, Oh my God, you must be mad. They want you to integrate, they want you to be less strict, but compared to your creator and his messenger, should their words even constrict. Whether it's loving myself or loving another, to even love in the first place is willed by him and no other. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Each time we say it, each time we hear it, we are in awe. O oh Allah, let my love for you transcend everything else. O oh Allah, please let it be that way even till my very last breath.